بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم لیکچر نمبر 11 یونٹ نمبر 1 کمپلیکس نمبر دی ٹاپک آف دس ویڈیو لیکچر از ایکسپریس دی پولی نامیل پی آپ زیڈ ان ٹو لینئر فیکٹرز سو وی ہیو ٹو ٹائپس آف پولی نامیل ٹائپ اے دی پولی نامیل پی آپ زیڈ از ایکو ٹو زیڈ سکوئر پلس اے سکوئر ویر اے از any real number a belongs to real number and this z is a complex variable is a complex variable and second type of polynomial which we need to convert into linear factor the target of the topic is the target of this video lecture is we have given two types of polynomial type a and type b and we need to convert these two type of polynomials into linear factor so this is the polynomial of type 2 this is a uh, a polynomial having degree 3 and this is a polynomial having degree 2 so here in this polynomial a b c and d a is the coefficient of z cube b is the coefficient of z square c is the coefficient of z and d is constant so a b c d from the set of real numbers and this z is a complex variable so the target of this video lecture is to convert the polynomial of type a and the polynomial of type b into the linear factors so first of all we briefly discuss that what is polynomial and what is a factor and then we briefly discussed what is a linear factor and then we will switch towards the type a and type b that how we can find their linear factors we will use uh, in type a uh, iota square is equal to minus 1 we will use this fact uh, this fact that iota square is equal to minus 1 so with the help of this iota square equal to minus 1 we will convert this type of polynomial this type of polynomial into linear factors and for the second type type b these type of polynomials will be converted into linear factors by using factor theorem by using factor theorem so we briefly revise factor theorem here also so to discuss the or discuss the method for finding the linear factors of type a polynomial and type b polynomial first of all we need to know what is polynomial what is factor what is linear factor and what is a factor theorem and how we can use that factor theorem to factorize type b polynomial this is type b polynomial in exercise questions uh, exercise 1.3 question number two the questions are type a mean you have such type of polynomials are type b such type of polynomial so how you can convert these type of polynomials into the linear factors so to discuss that first of all we need to discuss briefly that what is a polynomial so remember first of all i am discussing that what is polynomial 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 is an algebraic expression i am writing the definition of a polynomial in algebraic in algebraic expression in which the power of a variable in each term is a whole number so this is the definition of a polynomial for example for example example let's say example number one 
x power 4 plus 3x cube plus 7x plus 1 so you see that this is an algebraic expression in this algebraic expression there are four terms remember that the terms are differentiated by plus and minus so you see that uh, there are four terms because the terms are differentiated by plus in the in uh, in this algebraic expression the variable is x so in first term the power of the variable is 4 4 is a whole number in second term the power of the variable is 3 3 is a whole number in third term the power of the variable is 1 1 is a whole number and in this term actually this is a constant so with this constant I can write x power 0 x power 0 is actually equal to 1 1 multiplied by 1 you will get again 1 so in this term the power of the variable is 0 so 0 is also a whole number so you see that the power of the variable is 4 whole number the power of the variable is 3 whole number the power of the variable is 1 whole number the power of the variable is 0 whole number so you see that this is an algebraic expression in which the power of variable in each term in this term in this term in this term in this term is a whole number so you know whole numbers are denoted by capital W and they are started from 0 1 2 3 and so on these are whole numbers non-negative integers so you see that all the powers in each term is actually a whole number so that's why this algebraic expression is a polynomial so this is a polynomial and the highest power of the variable is 4 which is called the degree highest power of the variable is called the degree of that polynomial so the degree of this polynomial is 4 because the highest power of the variable in all these term is 4 so degree of this polynomial is equal to 4 this is the degree now if I take another example let's say if I take x square plus x power minus 1 plus 4 now in this case there are three terms in this algebraic expression in first term the power of the variable is 2 2 is a whole number 2 belongs to set of whole numbers in this term the power of the variable is 0 this is the whole number but if you see here the power of the variable is minus 1 minus 1 is not a whole number so this algebraic expression is not a polynomial is not a polynomial so this is the basic definition of a polynomial we usually denoted let's say in this case you see that this algebraic expression has variable uh, x so this is denoted this is denoted by phi of x is equal to x power 4 plus 3x cube plus 7x plus 1 so usually polynomials are denoted by phi of x mean this algebraic expression is dependent on x because the variable is x so this is the notation for a polynomial p of x if the algebraic expression uh, is dependent on x mean the variable is x and in each term the power of the variable is a whole number so this is a polynomial now remember from the fundamental theorem of algebra that the numbers of linear factors must be equal to the degree of the polynomial remember that the number of factors will be equal to the degree of polynomial degree of polynomial so for example if I consider a polynomial p of x is equal to x square minus 1 so this polynomial must have two linear factors because in this case the degree of this polynomial is equal to 2 because the highest power of the variable is 2 so that is called the degree of the polynomial so here the degree of the polynomial in this case is 2 so that's why this polynomial must have two factors must have two factors now how we can find that linear factor this is our main target that how we can find out that linear factors now in class 9th 
you studied that how you can factorize different polynomials uh, in some cases we use formula which is a square minus b square which is equal to a square minus b square is equal to a plus b into a minus b so if i see here this p of x can be written as x square minus 1 square which is equal to x minus 1 x plus 1 according to this formula here the value of a is x and the value of b is 1 so you see that this quadratic polynomial the degree of this polynomial is 2 so this degree 2 polynomial is converted into two linear factor x minus 1 is a linear factor in this factor the highest power of the variable is 1 so that's why this is called linear and this is a linear factor because the highest power in this in this factor x plus 1 is 1 so that's why this is also a linear factor so you see that these are the two linear factors of this polynomial now what is a factor the factor means if you divide this polynomial by x minus 1 or x plus 1 you will get a reminder 0 the the factor is actually uh, divides the polynomial exactly mean the given polynomials must be divisible by the factor for example if i give example from the numbers 4 is a factor remember 4 is a factor of 16 what is the reason why if someone asks from you that verify this why 4 is a factor of 16 so if you divide 16 by 4 you will get a reminder 0 so whenever a number is divided a number is divided by some other number and you get a reminder 0 so that number in the division is called the factor of this number so that's why 4 is a factor of 16 because 16 is exactly divisible by 4 is exactly divisible by 4 or you can divide 16 by 4 mean you get a reminder 0 so in that case 4 is called a factor of 16 and 16 is called a multiple of 4 16 is called multiple of 4 so th th the same definition of the factor is here if you divide x square minus 1 by x minus 1 you will get a reminder 0 see this is x square minus 1 x minus 1 is said to be a factor of x square minus 1 f and only f if i get a reminder 0 so let's say multiply x with x so you will get x square this will be minus x so like terms will be written uh, below so now uh, this will be cancelled this will become plus so this is x minus 1 so with plus 1 so x multiplied by 1 you will get x minus 1 multiplied by plus 1 you will get minus 1 plus minus this is plus so you see that the remainder is 0 so whenever you divide x square minus 1 by x minus 1 or x square minus 1 by x plus 1 you will get a remainder 0 so that's why x minus 1 and x plus 1 are called the factors of this polynomial and also remember this point that the number of the factors must be equal to the degree of the polynomial number of linear factors this must be linear factors so this is the procedure to uh, to convert uh, a polynomial into factors but this is a quadratic polynomial if you get a polynomial with higher degree for example if i get p of x is equal to x cube plus 2x square plus 1 so how i can convert this type of polynomial or maybe uh, let uh, here the case is the polynomial is of degree 3 so uh, uh, how i can convert this so for factorization i also use synthetic division but it is lengthy uh, it is a difficult procedure uh, now uh, if the polynomial is of degree 7 if the polynomial is of degree 10 if the polynomial is of degree 20 so then how you can convert that polynomials into linear factors for that we use factor theorem we use factor theorem what is factor theorem factor theorem is used to find the factors of polynomial phi of x in this case the uh, degree is uh, 3 
so there will be three linear factors how you can find that three linear factors so for that we use factor theorem what is factor theorem factor theorem is used to find the factors of a polynomial let p of x be a polynomial let's say this is your polynomial it may be um, any type of a polynomial the degree of the polynomial may be any degree maybe any degree so let's say this is your polynomial i already explained that the polynomials are denoted by phi of x f that algebraic expression in which the powers of the variables in each term is a whole number and the variable is x so we denote that by p of x if the variable is other than x let's say t so then p of t will be the representation for that polynomial so let phi of uh, x be a polynomial now the x minus a is a factor of p of x f and only f p of a equal to 0 mean what does it mean it means x minus a is said to be a factor so this is a linear because you see that the power of the variable is 1 so if you write here uh, linear so uh, it will be more clear so x minus a will be a factor of the given polynomial this is your given polynomial so this x minus a is said to be a factor f and only f when you plug this a here in place of x and you get zero so then x minus that value on which the polynomial gives you zero so then that x minus a is said to be a factor what does it, this f and only f means f and only f means this is true from either side if x minus a is a factor then this f p of 0 must be equal to 0 or if p of 0 is uh, p of a is equal to 0 then x minus a must be a factor f and only f means if x minus a is a factor so then p of a must be 0 so this is the direct part of this theorem the converse part is if p of a is equal to 0 then x minus a is a factor so you see that this is true from the either side so how you can check that x minus a is my factor or not you will put that value of a in place of x in the given polynomial if you get zero so x minus that value on which the polynomial gives you zero is your factor according to factor theorem and if it is a, fact, a factor so remember that according to the definition that factor will divide the given polynomial exactly mean if you divide the polynomial by that x minus a mean that factor you must uh, well get a reminder zero so this is the procedure uh, uh, this is the statement of the factor theorem so how i can use this factor theorem to find the linear factor of this polynomial so you will think of a number on which this polynomial gives zero so you will put plus one and then you will uh, check that on one the polynomial gives zero or not then you will put plus one minus one minus two minus three plus two plus three and you will see that on a value which you get zero so that value x minus that value will be your linear factor so see here i am putting x is equal to you can choose this by uh, thinking so now i am putting x is equal to let's say if i put minus one so that will be uh, let's say if i put plus one so this is equal to one cube plus two into one square plus one so this is equal to four so this is not equal to zero so x minus one is not a factor of this so uh, leave it x is equal to 1 now if i put x is equal to 2 so you see that um, on this you will get this is 2 cube 2 into 2 square plus 1 so 8 
this is 4 8 and this is 1 so this is 17 not equal to 0 so x minus 2 x minus 2 is not a factor x minus 2 is not a factor of p of x which is actually x cube plus 2x plus 1 so you see that uh, you can put different values to check that on which value the polynomial gives us 0 so on that value uh, x minus that value will be your factor you will be your linear factor if i put minus 1 so what will be happen so this will become minus 1 whole cube this is uh, 2 into minus 1 whole square and let's say mm, I choose the polynomial let's say this is my minus 1 so the process will become easy so let's say this is minus 1 so you see that p of minus 1 is equal to minus 1 this is plus 2 this is minus 1 so you see that plus 2 minus 2 equal to 0 so x minus this value so this is minus 1 x minus this value which is equal to x plus 1 this is a factor of this is a factor of p of x is equal to p of x is equal to x cube plus 2x square minus 1 so you see that you find one factor of this polynomial but this is a, a, a cubic polynomial the degree of this polynomial is 3 and we remember that the number of the linear factor is equal to the degree of the polynomial so there are three linear factors how you can find out the remaining two linear factors so for the remaining two linear factors you need to divide this polynomial by the factor so remember that you will get a reminder 0 because this is a factor so this is x square so this is x cube now this will be plus x square similar terms will be written uh, beneath the similar terms mean similar terms when uh, the power wise same terms are similar terms so this is x square minus 1 then plus x so this is x square plus x plus minus this is minus so you will get minus x minus 1 so multiply with minus 1 so minus x minus 1 plus minus this is plus so you see that the reminder is 0 you will get a reminder 0 because x plus 1 is a linear factor of this polynomial according to the factor theorem this uh, um, how you can say that x plus 1 is a factor of this you just put minus 1 in this polynomial and you get 0 and then you say that x minus this value x minus this value is my factor so x minus this value is mean x minus minus 1 so minus minus plus 1 uh, so you see that x plus 1 is a factor so this is guaranteed by a factor theorem the factor theorem says that x minus a is a factor of this polynomial if when you plug a in case of in place of x in the given polynomial and you get 0 so you see that if i put minus 1 in place of x in the given polynomial you get 0 so that's why x minus that a here the value of a is minus 1 this is the value of a so on this you get 0 so that's why this polynomial uh, this x plus 1 is a factor so when you divide the given polynomial by the factor linear factor so reminder must be 0 uh, now uh, why i divide the given polynomial by x plus 1 i am interested to find out the two other linear factor because this is a uh, single linear factor of this polynomial and the degree of this polynomial is 3 so if the degree is 3 so there must be three linear factors so that's why i am finding the three linear factors so that's why i divide the given polynomial by the linear factor x plus 1 so i get this is my quotient remember this is your quotient this is your quotient this is called dividend this is called dividend this is called divisor and this is your reminder so remember that dividend remember this that dividend remember that dividend is equal to divisor 
multiplied by quotient this is multiplication plus reminder so in this case my dividend is x cube plus 2x square minus 1 your divisor x plus 1 this is your uh, first linear factor of this polynomial and this is your quotient x square plus x minus 1 and the remainder is 0 so this is your polynomial p of x so this is x plus 1 this is x square plus x minus 1 so this is the first factor of, first linear factor of this polynomial which is denoted by phi of x now i want to factorize this by using uh, quadratic formula because this is a quadratic uh, polynomial or you can use uh, the completing square or you can use the uh, mean extreme method which you studied in class 10 first chapter so to i this is x plus 1 this is x square. the coefficient of x square is 1 and the constant is minus 1 so multiply this coefficient with constant so you will get minus 1 now you need to divide the uh, you need to divide the uh, coefficient of x in such two parts from their multiplication you need to get minus 1 and from their addition you must get the plus 1 so this is not possible this 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 uh, factorization of this is not possible by uh, mean extreme method so you will do the factorization of this by quadratic formula so in this case here i am factorizing this now because this is a quadratic so you will get two factors from here and one factor is this so your cubic polynomial will be factorized into three linear factors so i am considering x square plus x minus one so in this case here the value of a is one the value of b is one the value of c is minus one when i compare this with the general form of the quadratic polynomial so actually a, a quadratic formula is used for finding the roots or finding the solutions of quadratic equations so that's why i am not using the quadratic formula this quadratic polynomial is not further uh, to be factorized so you, you need a factor theorem here again to factorize this so let's say this is my uh, polynomial let's say i am considering this this let's say p1 of x so this is x square plus x minus 1 so put a value here uh, on which this gives us the 0 so if i put minus 2 so that will become uh, if i put minus 1 so that will be on minus 1 this is not become 0 if you put minus 2 so you will get um, on minus 2 uh, you will get let's say if i put minus 2 so this will be minus 2 whole square this is plus 2 this is minus 1 uh, i am putting minus 2 here so this is minus 2 so that will become plus 4 and this is equal to 3 so you see that this is equal to 1 not equal to 0 so x minus minus 2 is not the factor of this polynomial so you see that this is the procedure uh, this cannot be factorized further so uh, th these are the factors this is a factor of this polynomial as well as this is also a factor but this is not a linear factor this is a quadratic factor this is a quadratic factor but in this uh, in this topic we are interested to convert the polynomial is into their linear factor now this is a factor this is a factor of this polynomial but this is not a quadratic this is not a linear factor this is a quadratic factor and this uh, quadratic uh, polynomial is not further um, to be factorized so that's why i will leave it here so this is the procedure of factorization by using factor theorem so this is uh, the study that you already uh, done in the previous classes we will use this study to disc uh, to find out the linear factors of the polynomials of type 1 and polynomial of type 2 so this is the 
background knowledge this is the background knowledge for this topic uh, thank you in coming video we will discuss this these two